Get to the chopper! Right, that's my terrible Arnie impersonation. And this is Predator on the Amstrad CPC. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I can describe this like. Now, I was originally going to do this as a normal standard 5 to 10 minute NRG video, but it turned into a complete one because this game is very short. Very short. How long is a piece of string? It's probably longer than this game. Anyway, <laughs> Predator, obviously based off the 1987 film. That's a pretty basic cutscene. Um, yeah, nice little swipe up there with the title screen, but that's about it. And let's get going. Look at the yard, the tribes are going, the troops are going. Well, I don't know where the hell we went with that accent. Anyway, so it's basically following the plot of the film uh, with a few random additions here and there. We play Arnie, who's a clone of all his mates. And off we go, into the jungle. Into the jungle! I don't know why we're shooting at other troops. I mean, was there that in the, in the original film? Maybe. I can't remember. Um, but the thing about this is, uh, you know, graphically, it's actually not too bad. It's pretty colourful. Um, the animation on uh, Arnie himself is actually very nice, if a bit slow. Right, got to raid him, pick up the dead body. Ooh! This is nice. That's nice graphically. The Predator heat-seeking thermal vision, that's really nice. And there's the sound effects. Eh, average. Average. And that's really it. I mean, aesthetically, it's not too bad. Um, repetitive. And the scrolling is pretty good as well. Smooth, again, but slow. But the big problem is the gameplay. Because, um, look, these bullets, where are these bullets going? Are they actually going... Hitting these soldiers, they seem to be just the collision detection is just weird. And also, watch these soldiers. If, if if one of them bumps into me, there you go. There he is. He just did. He he just like oh, and him. He merged into me. And again, and again, and again. Look, three of them, four of them. They just warp into me. It's like something out of Ghost, out of the film Ghost. Anyway, that's stage one complete, as you can see, and uh, lost well one main enemy bar and one life there. So, and now I did that, you just run, literally, run across the bottom of the screen. And uh, shoot straight and shoot up a bit, like, there you go, just to, just to clear them out your way a bit. You will take damage. Oh, no! I couldn't move there. Why couldn't I move there? I got shot by the Predator. Darn. Right, but once they're clear and out of the way, it's kind of plain sailing. You've got some grenades here, just throw them... That uh, that dude there, that was all right. That's not bad collision detection. But say, generally these these soldiers are terrible collision detection. Can't go backwards either. Can only go forwards. The control method is a bit unusual as well. You have to uh, to move up and down in the field of vision. You've got to press diagonally up and down while moving either backwards or forwards. And uh, like I say, you can walk backwards, but you can't scroll backwards. Uh, so if you press up or down. Then uh, you press up, but it basically it's a tiny little jump. Press down, it's a duck. Uh, if you hold the fire button while you do this, you'll either punch or block. Yeah, uh, I don't know why they bother with the block. Totally useless. You can't block bullets. And if you try that against the Predator, he, he hammers you. You just have to punch him. A lot. Jump off the cliff! No, this game's so bad, I'm going to jump off the cliff! No. <clears throat> anyway. Third scene. We're nearly done now. Uh, this is we're halfway through this uh, vid, and uh, yeah, we're nearly done. So, again, some nice little effects. A little target sensor there of the the predator and the thermal vision again. <clears throat> to bend down and pick stuff up, you've got to use your enter key. Uh, you can drop your gun, pick up a gun. You can only punch when you've dropped a gun, and you're picking up uh, rounds of ammo from the your fallen uh, brethren. So we're going to cross this bridge here. It's just like the, the, the like the bit out when Billy gets done by the Predator on the bridge. So you've got to drop this gun. If you shoot the Predator, he'll, he'll just he'll have you. So drop the gun and give him some punches. And try and not get... Ow! Oh, shit, he crapped me. Oh, bloody hell, I've only got one life left. Right. <clears throat> Damn it. I have to be careful here. Whenever he comes near you, just punch him. Don't shoot him. So it's a bit like that. A bit like from the from the film. Where he, uh, he he downs his guns and wants fisticuffs with Arnie. So you just run along here. There's no soldiers now. Predator's animal. Uh, and into the mud. Uh, here we go. Again, enter. 
to do all your actions. So once you're in here, you press enter, stand still, and cover yourself in mud. So you can't be shot. Aha. Oh shit! Get off! No, 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 you're shooting me in the head. <coughs> there we go, go away. There we go. And then after this, we're on to the final stage. And <laughs> that's about it, ladies and gentlemen. There we go, final stage. But as I say, let me talk about quickly before we get to the end. Um, graphically, it's pretty good. It's, it's not bad. It's a small, it's quite a small field of vision, but it's, it's pretty good. It's not bad. It's not not too blocky. Uh, punch this predator. Ah, nails go away. Scroll smooth but slow. Animation quite good but slow. But the problem is that the gameplay, the collision detection is just broken. It's very very short. That's the biggest bane of this game. It's too short. Uh, it, I mean, it's it's tough. If you're not sure how to do it, it will be tough. If you sort of like just go straight and smacking into the platoon, bullets blazing, run out of bullets, then you you will die quickly. Uh, but you know, run along the bottom and just clear the path, and they generally walk past you. And again, if you start shooting the predator, you will die rather quickly. All, all the bodies hung up. There were the rest of the soldiers. God. Bodies everywhere. Looks like a party at Roman times. How lovely. And you've even got this, I thought like this is quite nice, a bit of the end. It mirrors the film. Drag the log up with the rope. Oh, turn around. Turn around, Arnie. Back to the rope. There. Drag the drag the log up. Drop the log on the uh, on the predator's head and then leg it because he, he, he blows his bomb up. So, that saying that, I mean, this is, um, yeah, 50%, 50%, you know, if, if, you're gonna, if I'm going to put a review score on it, it's 50%. Graphically, it's not bad. Sound is, yeah, okay, it's not that. Fortunately, gameplay's rather broken, and it's ridiculously short, and pretty easy. And I've missed the log, damn. Damn it, I'll have to punch him. So this was brought to us by Software Studios, and uh, published by Activision. <laughs> Good friends at Activision. In uh, 88. So about a year after the film. So, another one. It's one of the typical film licenses that uh, that tries to do things right. But, uh, unfortunately, could have done a lot better. Mm. There we go. Big log on your head, Pred Boy. Let's leg it, because the countdown's happening. Let's leg it. I'll be back. No, you won't, Arnie. Boom! And there you go, that's a a fit for someone. Oh my goodness me, what the hell's look? That's his pre Terminator days. Anyway, Predator on the Amstrad CPC. Phew. Thank you for watching. Never bug out!